Hi everyone, hope uh, your family and you are safe and sound. So I am Dr. Sharon, I will be the course coordinator for software verification, validation and testing. Uh, the course code is TIT uh, 607 and uh, so in this course you will be seeing about or you will be learning about the software testing process. What are the various software testing process that is there and uh, how exactly you will be performing the software testing. Okay. So, by the end of the course, once you come finish learning this course, software verification, validation and testing, you will be able to uh, demonstrate uh, the verification and validation tasks associated with uh, software uh, in uh, compliance with software life cycle. Then uh, you will apply the techniques uh, on various uh, you know, software. Further, you will be able to differentiate between uh, the verification and validation tasks uh, so, when uh, when I say verification and validation, you have to understand uh, or you uh, we will learn further in the coming classes the difference, but I want you people to think about it. What uh, is the difference between verification and validation? Okay. Uh, further, uh, you will be able to compare. I mean, you are learning the theory and then you will learn what are the limitations that will occur uh, when we are performing uh, uh, the software testing process practically and then you will learn uh, to plan and uh, perform the uh, test plan okay you will be uh, coming up with a test plan for a software and you will be able to understand the whole process okay so this is what the course outcome is. Now uh, coming to the textbook, these are the various textbooks that we have. Uh, so uh, which uh, in which we have uh, William Perry, Effective Methods for Software Testing. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll upload the soft copy of the textbook in the Moodle. So you can go through the textbook. It's very important you read the textbook when it comes to software testing so that you will get a better understanding of the whole process. What are the various testing techniques and um, uh, all. So, as a developer, if you want to pursue further as a developer, even then you should understand software testing techniques. Software tester, the scenario is entirely different. You have to know the testing process. Whereas, as a developer also, you should know the testing process. Why? Because, so as a developer, you should understand how the testing happens, right? Then only you will be able to develop a software uh, or you will be able to perform the develop, developing process properly from the uh, tester's point of view. So you should understand what are the features that they will be taking care of uh, and you will be able to keep an eye on those features uh, in order to develop a bug-free uh, application, right? Uh, so as a developer or as a tester, uh, understand a good understanding and in-depth understanding of the testing process is quite important. Now, uh, these are the uh, prescribed textbooks. Uh, further, we uh, we have reference textbook in which Roger S. Pressman. It's a very good textbook. Uh, this will also give you a good understanding of the entire testing process. Okay. Then uh, we are, first I will give you an understanding of 
the basic questions associated with software testing which is what why and how of software testing so software testing is basically a process where we evaluate a software product we will see if the software application is performing what it is supposed to do that is a banking application is performing uh, the proper appropriate applicate app, uh, appropriate uh, process um, or if we have um, uh, if we have a student management system then it is performing what it is supposed to do so the that process that whole process of validating and verifying is called software testing and basically uh, when we perform software testing we will be identifying the bugs and we will um, we will try to uh, uh, say these are the problems with the software that should be fixed so that is what we'll be doing now why do we need software testing uh, one point that we need to remember is when we are performing software testing um, so in the software development process software testing is a part okay so when we are performing software development it is having several phases and in these phases in each phase if there is any error that is at the requirements phase uh, the user is asking you uh, to actually uh, you know keep uh, the uh, let's say keep the uh, limit of uh, number of users to uh, 20 but you didn't understand what the user want you didn't understand the requirement what the uh, what was being told to you then what will happen the requirement itself is wrong if the requirement is wrong further when you are designing the software you will design based on the wrong requirement and then you will code based on the wrong design right so the error will creep in from the requirements phase so it is very important that we uh, need to identify the bugs or identify uh, the uh, defects uh, at various stages in itself uh, if that doesn't happen then you can see the comparison what we have here on the relative cost of fixing the defects see after once the software is released to the customer then the going back and fixing the defects is so costly uh, or during the testing phase again it is costly uh, that is the entire development is over and now it is being tested or you see at the requirements itself so it is just common sense initially itself i'm finding out uh, that uh, the uh, uh, there is some error in the requirements that I have documented then I can fix it there instead I went to design phase and I finished the coding then I realized as a developer I realized that okay there is some mistake then we have to go back to the requirements phase and make the changes further go to design make the changes right then do the coding again so the problem here is you are taking more time in developing right so uh, the developing uh, process is again done so uh, if you see in software engineering you will learn that the development process or uh, the entire software uh, cost estimation is done based on man hours so the number of hours that is being spent to develop the software so the more the amount of time you take the more costlier it will become right so uh, it is cost effective to actually identify the uh, bugs 
or identify the defects initially and fix it. Further, quality assurance. So, quality assurance, of course, I don't have to say uh, about it because from a consumer point of view, if you as a consumer, um, will you go and buy a defective uh, product? We don't. Uh, think of buying a defective product, right? Because we will always go and see the review, reviews and we will see, okay, how its performance is and then you will be buying the product. So, you as a consumer will not uh, buy a defective product. So, if the quality of the product that is being offered is not good, it is having so many errors and bugs, then it is it is a substandard product then uh, you know in the next process we will not um, use this software we will go for some uh, some other option with good reviews and uh, good uh, which is error free right so quality assurance is very important and as a uh, and if uh, in turn the benefit is satisfied customers. If the product is working fine, then you will be able to see uh, that you have good customers, which is very important. Then what do we have then? Uh, further, uh, we can determine the performance. That is, uh, you know, um, what is the... Um, uh, what is the load that it can withstand in place of 20 customers if 200 people are trying to log in what will happen all that you will be able to see test and understand okay so these are the basic uh, you know uh, why do we need software testing uh, now we will see how so how exactly do you think we will be performing software testing. I have made this slide blank because I want you people to think. When you are given an application, how will you test it? So, I want response from you people in the discussion class. So, I hope you will watch the video and come back with answers on given a software. How will you test it? Okay. Further, we will see the syllabus. Uh, in the next video. Thank you.